Baltimore Pike. Baltimore Pike. We here, baby. Baltimore Pike. Waterway Road. Bust the quick right. Waterway Road. I'm up here in Oxford, Pennsylvania. If y'all was wondering where the hell I was at, Oxford, PA. I'm about to pull up at this place. Where is it at? 385 Waterway Road. Where you at, baby? Looks like it right there. Hoover. All Hoover trucks shipping and receiving. Oh, don't stop on railroad tracks. Y'all learned that at CDL school. Don't stop on railroad tracks. Yeah. If I would have stopped on them tracks, I'm pretty sure somebody would have caught me. You have arrived at your destination on the left side. You have arrived at your destination. Deliveries. Stop here, check in at office. Woo! Missed that. Stop here, check in at office. Woo! Let's go check in. y'all to be careful when y'all step up on these uh these wet tires like i just did because guess what i have done it before i have busted my ass and no one was around to see me bust my ass <laughs> hey i got a question for y'all Y'all, I know y'all ever heard that saying where they say if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, does it still make a something make a sound? So if I bust my ass and no one saw me bust my ass, then I still bust my ass. That was actually it was actually a couple weeks ago when I did it. The only thing that saved me from hit, hitting the ground is I, uh, matter of fact, I'll show you when I get down. Cause I just did it a few weeks ago. And I actually did it when I, I was in, uh, what you call? I dropped a bungee, I don't know where it went. Oh, I see it, it's down on the ground. I paranoid about bungees falling down in there. Yeah, see that handle right here? I grabbed that handle right before I busted my ass. So, if no one sees you bust your ass, you still bust your ass. That's the question. I think it is. Pick these damn bungees up. So today is Friday. I'm almost finished my first week of lease purchasing. This is Friday. I still got, it's technically not finished just yet because the load that I'm dropping on Monday uh, still going on the same check. So I don't know how well this first check is gonna be because you know, if you got all those uh, upfront expenses you gotta pay and fuel and stuff like that. So I don't know how much it'll be. It's, it's going to be over a thousand dollars. I don't think it's going to be two thousand. It might be two thousand. Yeah, it should be two thousand. 
Should be a pretty good check. Yesterday I had a load that I picked up in, in Bull Gaps, Tennessee. I couldn't, I picked it up in Bull Gaps, Tennessee. I didn't deliver it until yesterday at 1, 1 p.m. They had the appointment time. I picked it up, I picked it up around, I wanna say around 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It was going like, I wanna say it was going about 300 miles. It took me like six hours to get, but I, I, I actually ended up going home. I think it was around 300 miles. Woo. But I ended up, I couldn't deliver it till one o'clock. Sometimes I would have been talking shit to my dispatcher like, yo, change the, change the damn time. But I had some stuff I had to handle yesterday. So I took care of that. So one of the things, one of the things that I had to, that I had to take care of yesterday, since I had some free time, I had to go see an accountant, get everything, get everything lined up, man. Since I am a lease driver now, I, I did, I did start my LLC that I talked about uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I did start it. Guess what the name of it is? my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Let's go get this other side done. Good thing that rain slacked off. When I first got here and went to go check in at that office, they was like, you got tarps on? I was like, yeah, I do. I thought they were gonna tell me to wait, to untarp it, but they told me to take it off. But anyway, back to what I was saying about that. Okay, so my YouTube channel, y'all know, of course, it is Nice Visions. If y'all wonder how I came up with that name, Back in the day, well, not even back in the day, just about a year ago, I used to be a professional photographer. I said used to, mainly used to because right now, since I've been doing this trucking thing, I haven't had time. But the name of my photography business was Nice Visions. Check me out on Facebook, Nice Visions. That was my photography company. I still got all my equipment, but I haven't done any jobs lately. I've actually been turning jobs down. Like even recently, been turning. I had a couple wedding offers. And, and let me tell y'all, weddings pay pretty good, man. I, I can make a thousand dollars off a wedding. I've done some for 500, but you can make a thousand dollars easily off a wedding. So yeah, I've, I've been turning stuff down because I've been so focused on this truck driving thing right now. So, you know, later on down the line, I will go back into it. So, my photography business was never incorporated. I never, I never filed taxes with the state, mainly because I was just making cash money. I wasn't, I wasn't putting it in the bank. I was just making cash, making cash money, you know, just doing whatever with it. I wasn't reporting it to the IRS. I can't do that with this truck driving thing, man. Can't do it, can't do it with this. You're getting paid on the 1099. From, from another corporation that's not trying to, you know, they're trying to keep their books clean as well. So I was getting paid cash as a photographer, sometimes checks, but mainly cash. So I went about it the right way. So my LLC name is Nice Visions Motor Group. That's the name I came up with. That's the name that I registered with the state of North Carolina. That's the name on my tax identification number. Nice Visions Motor Group, LLC. Limited Liability Company. 
since I met with that accountant yesterday, the main thing I had to figure out was how much was I gonna be paying in taxes. That's the main thing I had to figure out. For, for some of you lease drivers or company drivers that wanna go lease, but you know, you kinda scared about that tax situation cause you gotta handle it yourself. It ain't that, it ain't that difficult, man. You just, a lot of people, they just cheat. They don't wanna, they don't wanna spend the money to do things correctly. It's really not that expensive, man. It's really not. And hell, I went and saw the lady yesterday. That was my first meeting. I don't gotta see her again until the end of September. And end of September, it's, it's, we almost at the end of August right now. So at the end of September, I gotta take her my full uh, check stubs for the whole month of September and my bank statement for the, for the month of September. I gotta go see her at the end, at the end of the month. And in the meantime, what I gotta do is 30%, 30% of whatever I bring home every Friday, I gotta take, I gotta take it out. That's what she told me. 30% of every check, take it out, put it to the side. So, starting to pick up rain now, man. You know what, a lot of guys been asking me to do a truck tour. A lot of guys that watch me. Fuck, I'm looking for my other fucking strap. Yeah, a lot of guys that watch me, man. Y'all are guys that's already in the business. I already know what the inside of a truck looks like. But I realize it's also a lot of people that watch me that that are not truck drivers. That's why I never did a truck tour video. Man, my truck is a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia. It's a basic ass truck. No bells and whistles, just a basic truck. That's why I never did a truck tour because it ain't, it ain't really nothing special to show you. So, for the people that never seen the seen inside of a truck, I'm gonna do this just for y'all, man. And for y'all that's riding around in 2020 Mac Anthems and top of the line Peterbilt's and shit, you know, this ain't for y'all. This is for the guys that's never seen this truck or the inside of it. I'm gonna show you. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take these tarps off, fold them up, get my straps off. While I'm getting unloaded, I'm gonna show you what the inside of this truck looks like. What's up, man? Came to pick up and drop off. Picking up? I don't know if anybody here. My DM was telling me to get the, the paperwork was in the trailer or mailbox or something. Oh, you swapping the trailer? Yeah. Lucky, that was kind of been waiting, man. I got here like two minutes left. Yeah. Like, you lucky you got here right when you did. I got to get my car and go to hell home. You're going to see nobody till Monday. Hey, so where you get the paperwork from? The guard shack? Ain't nobody in the guard shack. You got to be somewhere on the trailer. Okay. I right, appreciate it. Sucks to be that guy. Yeah, he just said he got her two minutes too late. And now he gotta wait till Monday. Damn. Yeah, I'm picking up a preload. I said, where you find this damn preload? Is anybody in this guard shack? See nobody in there. Let's go find this damn preload. I suppose been giving y'all the truck tour, but it didn't work like that. It didn't work out like that. Let's see what trailer number. One four one one four five. Let's see if we can find this trailer. One four one one four five. Man, I was just talking to my buddy the other day about this this pipe. He's like, man, PNS must got a lot of freight with this pipe. Cause I see it a lot. Yeah, 
I supposed to be doing that little truck tour, but uh, that guy, that guy ended up having a having a big ass forklift. So it didn't take him no time. He was already done. I see a lot of PNS trailers out here, but I don't see uh, I don't see mine. One four one one four five. Oh, there it is, right there. Man, I, I thought I was picking up some pipe. I don't know what that is. I don't know if y'all saw it. I don't know if y'all saw it when I was just turning around. When I was looking for a trailer with some black pipe. That one don't got no black pipe on it. I don't know what it is, but it's already tarped. I don't know what it is. Hope I can find the paperwork. I said it was on the trailer. Get as close to this one as we can because I gotta move my dunnage. Slide my dunnage over to that trailer. So we're gonna try to get as close as we can. So I don't gotta walk too far. One four one, one four five. here in front of me. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, pretty tarp job. Real pretty. Let's check it out. See if it's already secured pretty good. Oh yeah, they did a good job on this one. Oh yeah, Superman, I call that the Superman. When you got the flap going backwards. Oh yeah, ain't nothing else I can need to do to this load. Oh man, whoo. Hey, I am the master tarper, but I cannot take credit for this one. Let's see how many straps we got out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one don't count. That's just holding the dunnage. Ten straps. Let's check them out. Oh, man, and they bone tight. That's what I call it when they super tight. Bone tight, 10 straps. How many pounds of securement is that? 10 straps. If each, each strap holds 54,000, well 5,400, multiply it by 10, you got 5,400. And the tarp is pretty secure. Whew, only bad thing about this load right here if I drop my airbags, I might can get under that. I say that's probably the only bad thing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna back my trailer up just a little bit more so I can just slide that dunnage right over. The PNS driver getting the hell out of here. I don't blame him. He got here two minutes late. They told him to come back Monday. Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. They 
get the hell out of here. Yo, but this little town right here, man, this little town, man, I swear it probably got about 25 stoplights. I caught hell getting here. I had to go like 11 miles. It took me like an hour. It took me like an hour to go 11 fucking miles. Yeah, you better get the hell out of here. Cause ain't nowhere to park. They even got these bone tight. Hey, they don't play the radio around here. It's my first time coming to this place. Yeah, first time coming here. There's a lot of PNS trailers out here. You can't see, but right over there, you see it, you got three of them stacked on top of each other. I don't, know, I don't know too much about PNS. Cause you know I ain't been here that long. But one thing I do know, I know they got some damn freight. I know that. They got plenty of freight. So if you hear if you hear somebody talking some dumb shit, oh man, PNS ain't got no freight. Bro, they definitely got some freight. I have to dead head to go get it. <laughs> Somebody asked me, they said, what's, what, what's the one thing about PNS you don't like? Somebody asked me that a couple weeks ago. And I said, man, it really ain't, it really ain't nothing, really ain't nothing about PNS that I don't like. But if I had to name one thing, sometimes you do have to go some long ass dead heads like a hundred miles, 150 miles. But hell, once you break it down, you know, you're getting probably like a fucking a dollar a mile for the damn load. So it really don't make a difference. I'm used to over there at Melton going like 20 miles dead head over there at Melton. Hell, Melton I ain't give a damn, cause you know, getting paid for the loaded miles and empty miles. But hey, it don't make a difference to me. I know I'm making money. That's all that matters. Ain't that what they say? Money make the world go round? Money make the world go round? Money make your girl go down? Ain't that what they say? Hey, my buddy Aaron, you might need a you might need to watch this video. He told me he don't know how to use a two-inch strap. I said, bro, that ain't hard using a two-inch strap. You just gotta have a technique to it. Once you got it set up just right, it ain't hard. And this, this specific two-inch strap that I'm using right now, I use it just for dunnage. I don't use it for nothing else but dunnage. So I know exactly how I know exactly how it works, and I even got a bungee tied around it for the for the extra. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? <clears throat> Whew, got the perfect setup for it. All thing we got to do now. Only thing we gotta do now, drop my truck down, get up under that load. I might not have to drop it, but we about to find out. Uh, it's good, baby. Didn't even have to drop it. Oh yeah, I did get some brand new airlines on my lease truck. These things are crispy. 
My last truck, I always had to fight to get them, get them up there. These motherfuckers going real good. Get you out of there, baby. You don't go there. Yeah, these things crispy. Just get this landing gear up. I wouldn't be surprised if that kind of stego trailer right there belonged to PNS. When I was in orientation down there in Birmingham, it was some guys that was at PNS. You know they do orientation for different companies. There was some guys that were there for orientation for a kind of stego company. Well, I can't remember the name of it. Maybe one of y'all PNS uh, PNS. Experts, maybe maybe y'all know the name of it. Uh, guess what? The damn landing gear don't got a damn handle on it. That's why I keep this long bungee inside there. Yeah, this landing gear don't have a damn a handle. Oh, Mr. Bungie will do it. Oh, Mr. Bungie. See how we're gonna get you up there. That ain't gonna work. How we gonna do this thing, man? Let's see if we can put one right here. Hey, one thing about bungees, man. One thing about bungees. It's never a right way or a wrong way to use a bungee. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm stuck. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, gang, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I might give y'all a truck tour next time. I'm about to go over here and get my uh, winch bar. Then I'm gonna crank, crank this truck up. Let it run for a little bit, let the air pump up. And I'm gonna also check my trailer lights while I'm doing that. Until next time, flatbed gang. <laughs>